it going guys and welcome to 4 Mar Ranch. So this big monstrosity next to me is actually my latest and greatest gun case that I've put together just for the sake of carrying all the different guns out to 4 Mar Ranch when I film these videos for you guys. I've been using multiple gun cases and some of them falling apart, you know, the cloth cases with the zippers that just over time after, you know, a couple years of heavy use like I do, I'm um, just falling apart. So obviously Pelican is one of the most trusted in the industry and this big boy is the Pelican 1740. So let's go ahead and take a look. A lot of times you see guys where they buy the Pelican gun cases and they cut out the foam to kind of have their gun laid out flat. But what I wanted to do is uh, get a big deep case like this and take advantage of the volume and cut vertically. And so obviously this isn't practical for everyone, but for me always going out here and doing these videos and you know, usually I do more than one video at a time to kind of maximize my time out here. Uh, I wanted something that was going to carry more than one gun obviously. And this is what I came up with and I just wanted to share it with you guys since it was a project I kind of worked on on the side for myself. I wanted to show you guys how it turned out. So you'll see I have two AR-15s in here. So one is my 5.56-223 AR, the other is my 300 Blackout, so it's a lot shorter. It's actually my pistol. And then the uh, 308 that's in here, but this long slot, I, I had one cut that'll fit my AK-47 if needed. And then you see I got four handgun slots. There's a number of magazine slots cut, as well as, you know, you can use them for things like flashlights, or when I do have the 308 in here, I have my bolt, just so that I didn't have to cut as far to the side. So I wanted to try to keep things as narrow as I could. On the far side, I have a slot for the silencer, which it's kind of cool because that suppressor will actually go on all three of these rifles, so it's perfect to be in there. I did want to go ahead and use up some of the real estate for that, as well as there's a big compartment in there that is deep enough for 10 AR-15 mags, or how I have it configured right now, it has my ear pro as well as some miscellaneous gear such as a rifle sling under there. So this is the case, just wanted to give you guys a quick look. And I know, again, there's other companies out there that do this. So you could buy a Pelican quality case and have them cut the foam, but that's gonna be about $500 from what I've seen. Obviously, some of you guys may do a little bit more digging, you may find it cheaper, but this case, straight from Amazon, with a, it even qualified for Prime when I ordered this, so free shipping for something this large was pretty cool, right at about $300, and I know that is a little expensive to some of you guys, but if you're like me and your collection has been built up over time and you've finally saved up for that nice glass to go on top of those rifles, you wanna protect that investment, and $300 is a small price to pay to uh, you know, protect much larger investments. Um, there's also other companies out there that do something similar but with uh, Plano cases and that's just not you know the quality of a case. Obviously Pelican's got the reputation of being built like a tank and I just wanted the most solid thing. So other than that guys here's a look at it real quick and then if you're interested the rest of this video is pretty much just going to be how I put this together um, you know taking the foam apart and then other things I did to make it a little bit better. So if you're interested in that stay tuned guys. All right, so of course the case comes with the foam going to the very top edges, and there's definitely something oddly satisfying about how neat it first appears. So what I started doing first is the handguns. I knew that would be the easiest step, so I started kind of simple. I played around with the placement of the magazine, didn't know if I want it next to the handgun itself, but as you can see, the real challenge comes with not only doing the top layer, but you have to figure out how to shape the bottom two layers. So there is a total of three layers and you have to play around with that and make sure it fits the way that you intend. Next, I kind of just went for it and started removing a bunch of the foam for rifles. And at first I was kind of nervous about messing up, but once you get rid of that initial fear, it's really not so bad, especially when you take your time. And as you can see, the foam starts to get all over the place pretty quick. But if just going slow and fitting the rifles, it's not too bad. And just going slow and doing everything one step at a time, everything started taking shape. To basically keep the pick and pluck foam from falling apart with use and you know taking guns in and out of the case, I'm using plastic dip. So this is a pretty quick fix. It's basically spray on rubber in a can. Essentially when it goes on the foam, it'll keep the blocks from coming apart. So as you can see, I've already done this a couple times on like the high stress points where I was most afraid of it coming apart. But here's a good example right here. So it's pick and pluck foam. It's completely coming apart right here. So obviously you don't want that. So this right now looks pretty terrible. But like I said, I was trying to coat really the edges and then there's some really high stress points where I think that is uh, the charging handle, my Raptor charging handle there and just a screw from uh, one of the red dot sites. There's not much I can do there because of the fact I did, you know, design this to have the gun so close together. But I'm going to do what I can and see if I can do some more coats and make that look a little bit better. But hey, 
in the end, I guess I'd rather it look like this and know it's not gonna fall apart than to fall apart and look a little cleaner. I'm all about, you know, use and not so much looks, but if we can make it look good, we'll go ahead and try. So let's see how it turns out. So we're just doing some nice, even coats just to get it started. I may spray a little bit extra in that crack, but again, that's when you get kind of this look, so. Um, I don't know if I really like that. Maybe I'll try to get it on the sides where you don't see it as much. I'll see if I can fix that, but, but yeah, so I'm just gonna try to even out the previous coats, especially on these thinner sections. I'm not as worried about this thicker one in the middle, but I really just kinda wanna reinforce the points I'm most worried about. And although it's not quite as important as the top layer, I'm also going to be reinforcing the second layer, and you can see I've kinda done that. Definitely doesn't need to be as pretty on that one, but. Here's where the rifle has been sitting. This is the barrel. Um, obviously, I've already been kind of using this case a little bit, which probably isn't the best to do before being reinforced, but whatever, it's just the way it went. You can kind of see right here where just the way the barrel is also separating this pick and pluck foam. So I'm definitely gonna reinforce any of those points on the second layer. And then where the handgun magazines have been coming in and out, sometimes they kind of catch and snag, especially right there, you can tell a little bit more. So I'm gonna reinforce that as well. And then again, just kind of the thin stuff, just to make sure this case doesn't fall apart over time. All right, so I got the two top layers pretty well sprayed down. So obviously there's probably gonna be, again, some spots that are a little bit more concentrated than others, but I'm gonna let it dry overnight and take a look at how it turns out in the morning and I guess reapply to areas that need a little bit more love. So finally, after applying that second layer of the Plasti Dip, this is what it ended up looking like. So it did look a lot better than it did with just the one layer. The concentrated areas of Plasti Dip no longer stand out quite as much. I will be trying to coat it again. I wanna let you guys know that this has taken two cans of Plasti Dip so far, and that's only been enough to really treat the top of the foam layers. It has not been enough for the bottom. So I would recommend probably getting at least two, possibly three cans of Plasti Dip just to be on the safe side. However, I do wanna point out again that I was not very patient and I started using this case after only doing one can of Plasti Dip, so the foam did kind of start falling apart, and it may have worked with just two cans would I have been a little bit more patient, but let's be honest, guys, it's kind of hard to resist putting your guns in this case. So anyways, I hope this was pretty helpful for you guys, and as always, thanks for stopping by the Four Mart Ranch YouTube channel. Have a good one, guys.